Hey everybody, today I want to share with you a lunch um, or dinner, either one would work, um, that I really enjoy lately. And what I'm doing is making um, zucchini boat pizza sort of things. I don't really know what you call them, but I've just taken a, um, a small zucchini, and pardon my camera skills here because I'm doing this by myself, um, but I have a small zucchini and I have just sliced it in half. And what I did was I took a melon baller and I just scooped out some of the inside so that I would have room for um, the filling that I'm going to put in. And it's pretty easy if you have a melon baller to do that. Um, just scoop some of the middle where the seeds are just right out of there like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fill that. Um, space that you just created with your toppings and so whatever you like on a pizza you could put in here um, I am short on time today and short on ingredients because we're going to the beach in two days and so my grocery shopping has been limited so I'm going to start with um, a marinara sauce use homemade if you can that way you know what is in it um, and if you're doing trim healthy mama you want to use one um, if you're using a store-bought, make sure that you get one without sugar in it so that you don't have any extra carbs with that. So just spoon that in there. I kind of do it until it's level. And then I like pepperoni. Um, I am on the search for a preservative-free turkey pepperoni. If you know of one, let me know. Um, this is preservative-free regular pork pepperoni. I found this at um, Target. I don't know what brand it is, but they're massive pieces of pepperoni. So I just use um, two pieces of pepperoni per half, and I'm just going to, let's move these out of the way, I'm just going to dice this up so that I can um, evenly distribute them over each one of my little pepperoni, or zucchini halves. This is such an awkward angle to try to film. So there's the pepperoni for one. And now the one for the other one. See, my husband, um, he doesn't eat pork for um, health concerns, basically. And so he doesn't eat regular pepperoni, obviously, because it's made of pork. And you can buy turkey pepperoni in the regular grocery store, at least you can in mine, um, but it has preservatives. It has nitrates and um, nitrites, and we really try to avoid those because, um, well, they're not good for you, but there are direct links that I've read about with those sorts of preservatives and Alzheimer's. And my husband had um, a couple of relatives with Alzheimer's, so we really try to watch that. So that's why I'll eat this. I'll eat regular pepperoni, but my husband doesn't, so I'd like to make this for him. So if you know of any preservative-free turkey pepperoni, even if it's something you can order online and they ship on ice to you, that is totally fine with me. I would, I would stock up every few months. So just load your toppings on here. Um, depending on how much you want to put on these will depend on the size of zucchini you need, how much you scoop out of the middle of it. You can see mine are kind of overflowing here. It's, it's a rather messy thing. Um, so at this point, I'm going to transfer these to a baking dish before I put the cheese on. So I'm just going to put them in a baking dish like this. And I have some shredded um, mozzarella cheese. If you're doing Trim Healthy Mama, this will be an S meal, obviously, with the pepperoni. There's my beep letting me know my oven is preheated. This will be an S because of the pepperoni and the cheese. Um, I do suppose you could switch out the ingredients. Not putting a fatty meat and fatty cheese on here and... Turn it into a fuel pool, maybe? Um, I don't know. And ordinarily, I would I would use larger zucchini so it made a bigger portion, but this is just what I had today. The zucchini at the store yesterday were pretty small. So 
that's what it looks like before we put it in the oven. I'm going to bake this in the oven at 375 degrees for about 30 minutes and I'll be back to show you what they look like. Alright, so here is my finished lunch. It is delicious. Give it a try. If you do, let me know what you think about it. Um, post it in the comment section below and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.